Hello, I'm Isa and I come from Costa Rica and I'm a DP1 here at UWC Math Day. In our room we have three DP2s which is kind of rare but normally it's two DP2s and two DP1s. So we're gonna show you each of our spaces as well as the whole room in general, the storage spaces, the bathroom, and also the common area inside the, on the floor. Give you a better idea what it's like to live here and maybe the type of things you'd like to bring when you come or how you'd like to set it up. On that side of the back, I have a big wooden bed and there aren't that many at, on this campus so you're probably gonna get something other than that bed. Especially as a first year, you'll probably get a space like mine. So be ready. <laughs> okay, let's go. Welcome. So when you first walk into the room, this is my side. I have a desk which is nice when I need to focus and I have just placed some school books that I need to read for my literature class we also have some storage space over here some drawers which is really nice for keeping things like extra pens extra paper um, and my laptop bag is also in there there are shelves in this area and I, I usually keep notebooks, textbooks, things like that on this space. And I also have a pin board at the back, which is really nice because I place postcards, things from friends over there. And it's really nice to brighten up the area. And welcome to my bed. Over here, I have another pin board with pictures. And I especially love New York City, as you can see. But also postcards. And yeah, a lot of pictures from home. I brought a lot of pictures and this is not everything. I like to switch it up once in a while. Hello! Behind this, we have a little private space to change. And then I have my wardrobe. You can see all the space I have at the top and on the side where you can fold things. And over here, I hang my coats mostly. And then at the bottom, I store my shoes. And what's really handy is um, up here we have a safe. It's very handy to have that over there. So if you don't have the wooden beds, you normally get a table that will probably look like this and you have to share it with two people. And so we divided it here and then you can just like have your stuff and study or do whatever you need. You also get these bunk beds and so I have the top bunk. If you're a thirsty, this will probably be what you get. Um, it's not that bad, I promise. And then I also bought some bed sheets for home and then I have pictures and just like I tried to decorate it to make it feel cozier and just a nice place to go and rest after very long days. And then I also have a curtain, just have a little privacy. So instead of closets, we get these lockers. Um, every student gets three. And so uh, you have with hooks and then also with little shelves so you can just put all of your clothes in there and just keep everything as organized as possible and over here we have a food shelf as you can see we have a lot of tea but um these are the foods that don't need to go into the refrigerator so for example pesto or oats or pasta we keep them here and it's safe and I recommend that you put labels on your food just to make sure that you and your roommates don't get confused as to what's what and what's for who. Um, so we usually just write our names on each product. So Isa has sorted her, her books and some of her school equipment on this shelf and the, the rest of these shelves quite, <laughs> as you can see, a little bit unorganized and it's just whoever needs to store something. We're gonna show you our bathrooms. So each two rooms share a bathroom, so eight people in one bathroom. Mm -hmm. Each room gets a shower and a sink and we all share a toilet. Welcome to our kitchen. There's a fridge per pair of rooms and we have two hot plates for cooking and a kettle and a place to wash and clean your dishes. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed it. 
if you have any questions, let us know. Yeah. And we would love to do a Q&A. So if you have any questions, please let us know. Yeah, so you guys can follow me on Instagram. Yeah. And also follow me on Instagram. And if this video reaches 100 likes, we'll do a Q&A. And if you <laughs> send questions in the comments, um, I'll probably reply to them if you ask, but I'll also include them in the a Q&A. Um, yeah, because I'd love to answer all of your questions if you have any. <laughs> Bye! Bye!